Hello, this is Bernard Ma. I am with Cullen International today, joined by Philippe, a, a global expert in anything to do with telecom and regulation. Um, and I would like to talk a little bit about 5G, uh, the fifth generation of of mobile communication, a huge topic at the moment. So maybe you can take give me your view on what 5G is. Thank you, Bella. Thank you for having me. Well, in, in the telecom industry, in the mobile industry, we have a new G roughly every 10 years. I won't bore you with the first G, but all people may remember the 2G that arrived in the early 90s. This is when digital cellular was brought in. And then you remember in the, at the turn of the century, we had 3G, which was very much the beginning of mobile data. This really paves the way for the iPhones and the other smartphones and the application industry. Shortly after 2010, we had 4G, which was uh, really when mobile data as we know it today uh, took off. And we've got around the corner, you know, a year or two from now, uh, 5G. Uh, what will 5G uh, bring? You know, it's not just about when you compare 4G to 3G, it's a, 4G is a, like a faster 3G. 5G, it's, it's vastly different from what we have seen before. Of course, it will be faster, better and so on, but it will be fundamentally different from, uh, from 4G. Basically, it will bring benefits along three lines. First of all, it will bring, uh, for the average consumer, faster connectivity. That's a good thing. But if we think a bit of industrial applications, it will enable massive connectivity. So we're talking about thousands of terminal equipment uh, connected in, in a single building, a factory, for example. And, uh, and then the, the, the third channel is if we you think, for example, of connected cars, or, you know, or the platoon of trucks which are self-driving, we're talking about extremely low latency. So we're talking less than a millisecond of latency of reaction between the terminal and, and the network to enable that kind of application. So it's a really a completely different uh, experience. Alors, in terms of, uh, of technology, 5G you know, is part of a, of a broader phenomenon, which is the idea of work for the telecom industry to work less with specialized equipment and much more with electronic equipment which, which are used more broadly on the market. It's what we call a software defined network. So we take standard electronic equipment and through software we customize them to perform the jobs uh, needed, needed on a telecom network. So uh, software defined network and network function virtualization. So we have, we have basically the functions running the network which are in the cloud and can be... Can be. Alors, this is great, it will bring huge cost savings. It also brings its own uh, challenges in terms of security. Because once you have very specialized hardware, the average hacker is unable to hack that. You know? mm -hmm. When you start using a telecom network standard equipment, the average hacker, this is much more, if you like, accessible to the average hacker, especially when you, you talk about things that I mentioned already, massive connectivity. So you're not just connecting uh, people like you, Bernard, with an expensive smartphone, and I'm sure you do your, your software update uh, regularly, but you're connecting you know, massively equipment. So there are many more vulnerabilities in yes. the network. So, so 5G brings huge promises, it also brings with it its own challenges in terms of uh, security. Mm. Uh, and who says security breach for you and me means also its own uh, challenges to our privacy. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.